I'm wondering which type of microphone should I go for, a lapel mic or a shotgun mic. I know both are used in different scenarios but I just want to know which one of this budget solution will give me a better audio since both have good reviews in Amazon. Anyway, we'll be checking both of these and compare their physical overview, features and compare some microphone sound quality. We'll tell you everything you need to know, coming up. Hey what's up guys, it's Mac here and we do a lot of tech related videos like this one. If this is your first time, consider subscribing. With that said, let's begin. So first, let's check out what's in the boxes. Let's begin with the AU100R. Of course, we have the lapel mic itself, an extra windscreen, the RRS 3.5mm female to 6.35mm male converter, a USB to micro USB for charging, a little pouch, and the manual. And now for the Boya BY-MM1, we have the mini shotgun mic, mic mount with gold shoe mounting, TRS to TRS 3.5mm jack for camera, TRRS to TRS 3.5mm jack for smartphone, a dead cat, pouch, and the manual. Now that we're done with that, let's check out some physical overview. First, the Miono AU100R. So the build is mostly cables, a very long annoying cables to the point that I don't want to measure it because it tangles a lot. Over here is a metal build control which um, you can switch from smartphone usage or others like your camera or audio interface or whatnot. With a small clip over here and a mini USB input for charging. Apparently this one needs a battery to function in other devices but no need for smartphones. It has a metal clip and a sturdy plastic built microphone and by default it is TRRS 3.5mm jack input. Now let's check out the BY-MM1 from Boya. It's all metal built and very sturdy and very unique design. And I kind of like it. It's very small but really looks nice in my opinion. And over here is a 3.5mm jack input and this one doesn't need any battery whether it be in DSLR, mirrorless camera or for your smartphone. There's not much to say about this build so I guess it's time for us to check out the features. So let's begin. So the Miono AU100R is designed for recording a wonderful video or a nice audio. The 3.5mm TRRS plug can be compatible with mobile phones, DSLR, computer, or digital recorder, which I totally disagree because even though I have switched the switch for other devices, it doesn't work with my camera and also my uh, audio interface so I have to use a converter like this to be able to use this in other devices but for smartphone I guess it's okay. So this one has a lithium battery that can go for like 90 hours of work time and the improved microphone capsule is suitable for voiceover, sing, interview, podcasting, vlog, etc. And also I need to mention that this has a polar pattern of omnidirectional. If you want to know more specification about this microphone, you can just check this out and pause the video. Now for the BY-MM1 from Boya, this is compatible with smartphones, tablets, DSLR cameras, consumer camcorders, audio recorders, etc. Which I totally agree because it has the separated cables dedicated for each devices, which I think Miono should have done the same. Now this is compact and lightweight directional mic, rugged metal construction, no battery required and also it has this furry windshield included in the box. The polar pattern of this microphone is cardioid. Now if you want to know more specification about this microphone, you could just check this out and pause the video. So we are going to be testing these microphones in a room with a very noisy air conditioning and also without it of course. We are also going to test it in an outdoor environment so that we will know which one will deliver a good microphone audio. So I suggest you use your headphones so that you will be able to adjust the sound more accurately. So with that said, let's try out these mics. So this is the sound of the Boya BY-MM1 plugged into my A6400 Sony camera in a room setting with a very loud air conditioning and also we are going to test this out without the air conditioning later. So let's move on to the next testing. 
Now this is the sound of the Miono uh, AU100R plugged into my camera and as per usual we are inside a room environment with a very loud air conditioning and this is the sound 1234 sound check mic test 1234 now this is the sound of the Miono AU100R plugged into my camera and now the air conditioning is off and it's becoming very hot right now so this is the sound of the what do we call this again the Miono AU100R sound check mic test 1234 sound check 1234 so this is the sound of the Boya MM1 plug into my A6400 camera in an arm length away in the same room environment but this time the air conditioning is off as you can hear there are no background sound. So we are testing it sound check mic test 1234. So this is the sound of the Boya MM1 plug into my iPhone in the same room environment but right now the air conditioning is off. And this is the sound, one, two, three, four, sound check, mic dance, one, two, three, four. Now this is the sound of the Miono AU100R plugged into my iPhone in the same room environment, but this time the air conditioning is off as you can hear there are no background sound. So we are testing it right now, that's mic, one, two, three, four, sound check. So this is the sound of the Boya BY MM1 plug into my A6400 camera in an arm length away in an outdoor environment. As you can hear there are a lot of background sound and hopefully this mic is picking up nicely. Check 1234 sound check mic test 1234. So this is the sound of the AU100R plug into my camera and as per usual we are at the outdoor environment you'll be hearing a lot of background sound and this is the sound of this mic. Sound check mic test 1234 sound check 1234. The sound of the Miono AU100R plug into my iPhone in an outdoor environment so we are checking it out as you can hear as well there are a lot of background sound happening around me. Sound check, mic test, one, two, three, four. For our last uh, test, this is the sound of the Boya MM1 plugged into my iPhone in an arm length away in an outdoor environment. Check, one, two, three, four. Sound check, mic test, one, two, three, four. So uh, one of the things that I realized while using the BY MM1 is that it needs to be close in your face. Now this is like more on a half an arm length away. So uh, you are hearing the BY MM1 audio right now. And actually my camera is set to level 10 so that we could have a better audio. Now we are in the same room where I usually record and the air conditioning is off right now so that we could have a good audio using this microphone so let me know what you think in the comment section below in conclusion so all i can say both has a distinct sound and can be used in different scenarios both are functional and good in its own way like what most reviewer will say that the closer the microphone is to the source the better the sound to be honest i like them both though you have to like tweak the volume settings accordingly for instance the Miono AU100R comes in very hot which I need to lower the camera audio to level 3 so that we won't be clipping on the other hand the Boya BY MM1 you need to increase the camera audio level to level 10 for better sound and also you need to be closer to the mic itself all I can say that the Boya BY MM1 has a fine tuning as it is but the AU100R sounds a bit nasally in my opinion. Maybe it's just me, but let me know what you think in the comment section below. So some of you may ask, what will I recommend? The Boya BY MM1 or the Miono AU100R? Well, I suggest buy them both. These microphones are good and budget friendly. But if your budget doesn't permit you to buy both, just go for the Boya BY MM1. If you want to purchase these microphones, make sure you check out the links in the description below. So that's it guys, this is Mac and I hope you found this video interesting and helpful. If it does, make sure to give us a thumbs up and share it. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next one.